Hello everyone, in this video we have this math olympiad problem, 3 to the power m minus 2 to the power m is equal to 65, and we have to find the value of m where m is an integer, right? So m is an integer, remember this. So how do we solve this? Let's get started. I believe you will agree with me when I say that this is to the power 1, and then this is also to the power one but note that we can write one as two divided by two we can also write it as three divided by three four divided by four or whatever right so we have three to the power m to the power two divided by two minus two to the power m or to the power 2 divided by 2. And this will give us 65. Right, we can rewrite this as 3 to the power m divided by 2 or to the power 2 minus 2 to the power m divided by 2 or to the power 2. And this is equal to 65, right? I just multiply this one by 1 half because this 2 over 2 is the same as 2 times 1 half, right? So we just apply this rule over here. a to the power m or to the power n is the same as a to the power m times n, right? But just that, I left the numerator over there and then multiply by the 1 half, right? Now... Let's go ahead and then let m divided by 2. So the equation now becomes x to the power 2 minus y to the power 2 is equal to 65. And we see that on the left-hand side of the equation, we have difference of two squares, which could be written as... But don't forget that x is greater than y and then y is also greater than zero and now we see that two factors are multiplying and the result is giving us 65 right but note that x plus y is greater than x minus y from here right so we're gonna write 65 as two terms multiplying so we're gonna have 13 times 5 now since this is greater than this one this is going to be equal to this one, and this one is also going to be equal to 5. So we can form two equations out of this. We have the first equation to be x plus y is equal to 13. And then the second equation, we have x minus y is equal to 5. Now let's go ahead and then sum these two equations. We have x plus s, that is 2x. Then... Positive y minus y, that is, of course, equal to 0. Then on the right, we have 13 plus 5, that is 18. We are looking for x, so let's divide through by 2. So that this and this will go, we have x is equal to 9. So now we know the value of x. Let's go ahead and then find y from this equation. From here, we're going to have y is equal to 13 minus x and we know that x is 9 so we're gonna have 13 minus 9 which is giving us 4 so we have y to be 4 but remember we are not looking for x and y we are rather looking for m right but we know that x is equal to 3 to the power m over 2 so when x is 9 we're gonna have 3 to the power m divided by 2 is equal to 9, which could be written as 3 to the power 2. And now we see that the bases are the same, so we can equate their powers. Therefore, m divided by 2 is equal to 2. And if you cross multiply, we have m is equal to 4. Likewise, when y is equal to 4, we're going to have 2 to the power m divided by 2 is equal to 4. And we can write 4 as 2 to the power 2. 
Now the bases are the same, so we can equate their powers. So we have m divided by 2 is equal to 2. And if you cross multiply just like we did before, we're going to have m is equal to 4. So in either ways, we are going to get m to be 4. Now, is m equal to 4 a solution to the problem? Let's go ahead and check. So we are checking, right? We have 3 to the power m, which is 3 to the power 4, then minus 2 to the power m, where m is also 4. And this must give us 65. 3 to the power 4 is 81, then minus 2 to the power 4, which is 16, right? So let's check and see whether we will get 65. Let's borrow 1 from here so that we get 11 here. 11 minus 6, that is 5. Then here we are left with 7. 7 minus 1 is giving us 6. So of course, this is equal to 65. So it means that m is equal to 4 is indeed a solution to the problem. Like this video if you found it useful. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.